you cannot build on broken foundation. You cannot build on broken governance, institutions, justice systems, law enforcement systems. And that is true at the village levels, so as the national level. In the year 1998 to 2000, there was an ethnic conflict, what they refer to as the tensions. There was a conflict initially between two ethnic groups in Solomon Islands, but that led to total state collapse. The Ramsey helped restore law and order actually pretty quickly and then move on to uh, state institution rebuilding. One of the things that the government at that time did was to request the World Bank to look into access to justice at the community level. The project was developed to work with provinces to employ people referred to in the project as community officers, who are basically people from the community, appointed by the community, but employed by the province. And the role of these officers was to work with community leaders to deal with these two key issues. One is to help them resolve conflict when they arise and refer serious matters to the police and for them to be the channel for service providers such as education, health and others, a disaster as they're linked into communities. We feel quite uh, frustrated that we are not going to work, we are not going to work, so we are involved in a lot of homebrew. I usually have to come drink and fight to with each other no more. Family members are frightened. Run away, go to the bush, the garden, and then hide. After I come down or no more back, they don't just return. The main problem in the community is drug and alcohol. Problem, uh, Michel facing with a motor youth plan, fella, like uh, because law drop out of schools and uh, what are they stay no more, uh, no any job, what's a uh, garam. Me look uh, awesome, uh, law sad law to youth, uh, Michel Barra, like in Thomas Powaka with a motor youth slow program. Say. The global no co na akauki na problem with a passion at youth. Kaya may naman ako kung kung si office sa noko yai na way noko sa global noko may naman yao ko sa vice president sa matu club so noko sungat sa ngayon kina yao ipasyo na problem mo kasi ang matu pasyo na binuang so huay huay may naman yao kina yao ipasyo o sa kita yung people lo o sungat huay ngayon kina yao the same uh, youth participation committee has been good after uh, a little bit of time to do some awareness and involve more of the other activities. Eh? So after this program coming, me uh, get involved them and uh, me find them that I'm good to match this program and me encourage them more boys for uh, changing ways to on them. People feel more comfortable working with people they know yeah, to solve uh, problems within communities. The village peace for them themselves, they are not people from different areas or they are not from the formal system. 
I think it's a good program. Yeah. It shows them that, that they are capable to do things themselves within communities. Time ago, they appointed me for see all the community. Me fright because how me serve lo me for what a local shop lo me fala. Him na me take up say me fright lo him because me fala him say me hard for woman him me talk with him get a chief what a leader lo community. So time me o say me do him training lo me lo that one. Okay, me feel confidence for that work of me. So, let me say later how me look. He, time a uh, female officer him inside the community. He me give me feel freedom for talk with him and share him lo whatever feelings lo me fala me fala go through. Especially what a, some fella victimize this woman or anything about home or problem with him. What else go in and free for share with him. This fella female officer. Uh, domestic violence is one for a uh, common issue. Yeah. Argument has come up between two for a couples. Uh, father has punched his mother and Shave. Kick him, Shave hit him. Most of the village peace within themselves settle those uh, conflicts inside the communities. And some of the cases are usually reported to the police by the village peace wardens themselves. We look here from this time here, time peace warden come in, uh, domestic violence has hem, hem reduced now inside local communities. Because people say now that, oh yeah, once we cause them this one, penalties plus them, or sin, penalty plus this one. Before me come in, I had a lot of this fellow worker. Me grown up a lot of this fellow community, and me looking. Some for the most cases, People always report them to the police, no matter how many small ones, also refer them to the police. But as time goes on, the uh, police have never act. Go over time we come in, small cases here, people always refer to me now. Nah. So to police the entire province of Makira Ola province is really, really challenging. Uh, if we don't have uh, uh, sea transport, then uh, we we cannot able to to, to polish the, the scattered islands. So having these uh, community offices of peace warden in the in, in, in the village is really good because they they assist the police to sort out some of these uh, uh, issues. One of the things that this project did was to try and break that cycle of communities bringing everything they do that has nothing to do with police work to police. And it was quite damaging to police because in their mind, if the police don't act, then they think of the police as uh, not effective, when in fact, the reason why the police are not dealing with those things uh, because it's outside of their scope of duty. <laughs> na ang ngoy na yung ngaho manu provinsi pasyon na pulis sa golbano haya ite program mo ite community officer sa kung matuwe ite people o matuwe ite what then there is no consistent and regular communication between provincial government and all its government institution and the people when the trust breaks down, it's very difficult to implement government programs in community. So there is this gap. Uh, COs basically bridge the gap and uh, able to retain some confidence uh, from the community to the government. To date, this is the only link we have as the provincial government uh, with the people. Since Google what a point in me, and we deal with him also a small problem here. Yeah. After everything, everybody come back together, me fella, also work together inside the community. I thought that the long disconnection between communities and the government, it will take a really tough time to rebuild. But how quickly they embrace it, that kind of surprised me. 80% of the people of these countries live in these communities, so that makes it really critical that 
they are stable, that they are better connected to the state. To me, that's the foundation. If we cannot fix that, then I don't see how we can progress at the community level and even at the national level. Thank you.